Hi, happy Sunday. It is January 3rd, um, 2021. I almost caught myself saying 2020. And um, it's time for us to do day three of our daily inspirational teachings from The Secret. Um, so here's the book. And I am really glad to be able to bring this and share it with you virtually through my YouTube page. If you have not already subscribed to Solversation Lifestyle, please click the button below and be a regular listener of my little inspiration show. I really try to encourage and uplift in these challenging times that we're living in. Um, with that being said, I think it's um, really important to just kind of emphasize, you know, that this might not be an easy journey for everybody to commit to, but I encourage you to join me on this mission of manifesting the life of your dreams. I have so much confidence that in the next year, I will be taking the steps towards making this happen, not just for me, but for those I love as well. Um, I know sometimes on my social media pages, I express some things like areas of discontent or something like that with certain people and, you know, groups of people or something like that. Um, but I think it's just because there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And it's so important to use your voice for change. And that is what I'm doing. And so by reading this every day and bringing it to you and sharing the message and encouraging not just myself, but everyone who supports me and wants to, you know, take action on making their dreams come true. I think by doing this, we are empowering each other. And I just want to invite you to have the courage to participate because it's not easy to click on a video. I mean, it seems easy, yeah, but sometimes people just might not feel like it. You might just be overwhelmed with motherhood or fatherhood or your job or your marriage or whatever to, you know, not make enough time to do this. But I encourage you to make a little bit of time to invest in your own dreams and sometimes it's as simple as clicking on a video and finding some inspiration and saying hey this is really going to work because let me tell you something i have been having my holiday was terrible um i'm grateful for my family um and the, and the love that they give but my holiday was terrible my christmas was terrible um i have had a challenging end of 2020 and by me doing this daily teaching, it helps me to keep my mind clear. It helps me to stay focused and not, you know, be caught up in a pity party. And it helps me to stay focused on what I'm grateful for. Um, it helps me to create an empowering narrative for my life. And that's what I want for those that I love as well. And sometimes we just need to feel those emotions of, you know, uh, depression or anger or loneliness or um, frustration. Sometimes we need to feel that. But we also need to remember that it's okay to encourage ourselves. And we also need to have a healthy coping mechanism that helps us to pick up where we left off. And we also, more than anything, need the freedom to express ourselves. And so that's what I love about social media and um, all the different platforms that are available to us is that we, it gives us the freedom to express ourselves. So with that being said, today is day three, January 3rd, Sunday of 2021, the first Sunday of the year. And the lesson for today, it says, Whatever feelings you have within you are attracting your tomorrow. Worry attracts more worry. Anxiety attracts more anxiety. I lost my place, sorry. Um, unhappiness attracts more unhappiness. Dissatisfaction attracts more dissatisfaction. And 
Joy attracts more joy. Happiness attracts more happiness. Peace attracts more peace. Oh, well, my lighting just gave up on me. Um, excuse me. I don't know what just happened, but... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, <laughs> better. Um, peace attracts more peace. Gratitude attracts more gratitude. Kindness attracts more kindness. Love attracts more love. Your job is an inside one. To change your world, all you have to do is change the way you feel inside. How easy is that? And so I think that's really an important lesson, um, especially starting out the new year, is just to kind of take a moment of mindfulness about the way we feel, what we're telling ourselves about the events occurring in our life, our emotions, how is that feeding into our subconscious mind and our mood, you know, and to be just con conscious of those feelings and if it's not the feeling that we want we can change it we have that power to change our thinking and that is so important because that is the one thing in this life that we can control ourselves based on the power that god gives us or the abilities that god gives us we can control how we think what we believe how we react what we feel about things you know we can feel a certain way but we don't have to be stuck in that feeling you know so like for example you know I had a moment of anger earlier this morning and I realized that I cannot be overwhelmed by the anger and frustration I had to channel that emotion into other energy into positive energy that was going to create real change and solution so that is just an example of how we control can control our minds for better results so that we send those vibes and that energy into the atmosphere and i have to really 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 emphasize the fact that you know some people cannot think for themselves you know and some people are their thoughts are controlled by others and they're not able to speak their mind or be authentic and genuine and how they really feel so we need to be grateful and take advantage of our self-expression our ability to think for ourselves we need to celebrate that and we need to do it in an authentic way that will allow us to manifest the life of our dreams so that's all i have for you today um i hope that everybody has a wonderful first full week of the year filled with lots of health wealth and prosperity um, even if it's as simple as getting up, you know, and preparing yourself for the day, that's better than nothing, you know. Um, don't let this situation and these circumstances get you down. I know it's easier said than done, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? And trust me, my life is not easy. I just make it look easy, but it's not easy. And I just wanted to bring you this wisdom because I do believe in it because I have applied it to my life. Mindfulness. All it takes is 10 seconds. Think before you speak, you know, and make sure you speak authentically to who you really are and what you want to represent. And that is pretty much like all I have for you tonight. Um, and until we meet again, I look forward to sharing day four with you. All right. Ciao for now and happy new year.